Now that we are done with understanding most basic functions of the Excel suit, that is how to create a table, how to create a chart, how to analyze your data, how to use autofill within your Excel. So now let us say you want to print this file. So for that, it is necessary that you see that your data is properly positioned on your page. So what we will do is we will go to the page layout tab so let us quickly see different page layout option or the options that page layout tab offers us. So here you will see that you can set the margin of your Excel suit like what kind of margins do you want your page to have when you print this Excel sheet. You can have it narrow or wide. You can also select the orientation like if your data is in this way which is formed vertically then you can select the portrait landscape and if you have this kind of data which is spread horizontally then you can select a landscape orientation which will print the data on your page horizontally then you can also select different sizes of the page that you are going to use whether you are going to use a4 page a3 size of page etc then you can also set a print area for example i select this much and I go to print area and select set print area only this much will be my print area when you go on the print option you will see that there are various options you can either select to print the active sheet which means the sheet which you are working on right now like here we had clicked on mark sheet sheet before coming to the print option so only that sheet will be visible here you can click on printing the entire workbook which means all the sheets that are part of your workbook will be printed as here you can see different page numbers it will keep giving you warning as there are so many numbers of pages it's okay click on okay then you can only print the selection so right now only one cell is selected that's why it is giving one let us go back and select this particular data then let us go to print and you will see that only the data that we have selected will be printed as you can see here in the print preview or you can print the selected table so the table which has been selected will be printed but here you will not get the heading that we had inserted which is cause of the text box so you can simply give the print selection and it will be printed then you can also define the pages like how many pages do you want to dis uh, print as here you can see when you select print entire workbook you can see there are six pages so you can simply say let's say only first and the second page or first to third page so you can define it which pages you want to print you can also set whether you want them to be collated or not collated when we say collated it means let's say you want five copies of this printout so first page second page third page first page second page third page do you want it to make a copy each copy five times or do you want to print pages five times like first page five times then the second page five times then the third page five times and when you select on collated it will be the first page second page third page like how many number of pages are and then the second copy of the same series so when you want to create multiple copies of pages which needs to be distributed among others it is collated option can really be useful then from here also we can change the orientation as discussed then the size of the paper the margin of the paper and scaling now this is really useful as you can see that entire data is not fitting on this entire page so you have various options. like if you select on this very first option you will see that entire sheet that we had created that is all 31 days is being fitted into this one sheet then you can have all columns on one page or all rows on one page so whichever is suitable you can print it accordingly and when you click on print it will be printed